Today I'm going to walk you through the thought process and strategy behind two different Town Hall 10 pushing armies that I use to reach Legends League and Clash of Clans. What's going on my friends? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show, and the other day I posted a video showcasing my Town Hall 10 trophy push from Gold League to Legends. Now that did take a couple of days to achieve, and it was a lot of work. However, that video will be linked down in the description below if you'd like to check it out. Now I will do higher Town Hall level trophy pushes in the upper coming months if you were wondering about that but today we're going to focus in more on town hall 10 and this might be a little bit of a slower guide for those players out there that are still learning clash of clans there's a lot of terminology that you might not understand and the armies will be the queen charge baby dragon which is this guy right here and this one requires a bit of strategy meaning you have to know how to queen walk in order to be successful with it and you have the option of the golem and valkyries and pekkas which is more of one of the those powerhouse armies meaning you just send the troops in to try to take down the town hall and then pick up the percentage around the base with either the siege machine or the other troops available now when it comes to trophy pushing there's a few elements that come into play you're learning new things by attacking higher level bases which is something that some of you out there might not want to do because it's kind of hard and it can get a little annoying while you're trying to learn so you might want to focus in more on town hall tens in lower levels before you start advancing up into champions and titans league another thing that you're really going to need is assistance from your clan mates for the clan castle troops and that seems to be a consistent problem for a lot of players out there even though you can use raid medals to request clan castle troops now all the bases here they're not perfect some of them did not have clan castle troops we have some one stars where i had to try to save the attack because things messed up or we got some three stars and two stars but we're going to start out with the queen charge baby dragon and there's a couple of things I'm looking for when it comes to these bases. This is a Town Hall 11. There were some defenses that were under upgrade, so I was thinking I might be able to three-star it because that's you know, gonna work out perfect for us as long as we do not activate the Eagle Artillery too early does that make sense all right so we're going to be looking for ways that we can use our flame flinger to pick up buildings on the outside of the base and try to clear important buildings like inferno towers on single target mode so we're going to start with that up in the upper corner of the base starting out with the baby dragon and ideally we're looking for hidden teslas before we drop the flinger because that'll ruin your attack from the start so that's what the baby dragon was used for there now the flinger is going to be targeting the archer tower cannon air defense Defense, Archer Tower, and it's going to work its way into the single target, which is exactly what we want. We do not necessarily want to walk our queen into an active single target Inferno Tower because you only have a few free spells, only one in this army, and you only have one ability. So if you don't get it down before then, you're pretty much in trouble. All right, so the queen is working from the bottom. Now, we're coming from the opposite side of the base because my thought process was if we can get the flame flinger to clear the single target, we can work the queen up through this section right here up into the eagle artillery, clear it before it activates, and probably use our barbarian king over here with a couple of wall breakers, etc., etc. The problem was is that the queen tends to do what she wants to do sometimes, and we don't always get her to walk where we want, right? It happens. So the queen's going to take down the air defense. She's going to go into the archer tower. I tried to use a baby dragon to get her to go to the right, but she took out the double cannon and then locked on to the elixir storage. I took way too long. So she continues to push back the other way, and this is where I need to start trying to salvage the attack and change my plan. We're going to use the four earthquake spells to open up a big hole for the queen to go into the town hall. She's going to be locked on to the barbarian king, and that's where we need to use a rage to help her out. And the baby dragons are being placed around the outsides, away from archer towers to try to get percentage. That's realistically our goal. Now, the Barbarian King on the right is used to pick up additional buildings to basically facilitate the attack to make sure that we do get the two-star in the case that we're unable to three. On the opposite side, there's a couple of balloons used to go after these archer towers, but in fact, they find traps instead. This is a good thing. That's what we want. That way we can drop baby dragons to start picking up these buildings. The queen has worked her way up into the uh, expos and the town hall's location. Barbarian king on the other side is getting destroyed, which is normal. 
And the Flame Flinger was successful with elimination of multiple defenses. We start dropping baby dragons around the base. Inside of the Flinger, we do have a Rocket Balloon and two Super Minions, which actually comes in really handy because Super Minions are quite tanky. And you're going to see where they are able to take out this defensive queen very easily. Eagle Artillery has been activated. We're going to use a free spell to stop the Air Sweeper. And the queen's going to continue to walk around the base. We're going to send a couple of Wall Breakers in to try to open up a compartment but they were unsuccessful and the queen retargeted in on the expo and then from here on out it's realistically just up to the queen and the leftover baby dragons but we were able to three star but in most cases this army is used for the two now the next army that i used was the golems valkyries pekka's army and the flame flinger is used again with a similar army composition on the inside this time around i think we had rocket balloons but i would recommend those super minions and rocket balloon if you can get them now we're going up against the town hall 12 and there's some things that you have to think about when it comes to using this army we have to worry about eagle artilleries because we're using golems pekkas valkyries very heavy army so once we activate that eagle artillery we have to go fast or we're going to be in a lot of trouble because it's going to lock onto your golem then it's going to lock onto your barbarian king and then start raining down on your other troops so we're going to start out in a very similar fashion using the flame flinger we're starting out with an archer this time around to try to look for a trap even though there's not a lot of room over there and we're going to drop the flinger it's going to start working its way towards this archer tower cannon and then we're going to use our earthquake spells to open up a hole to the town hall that's the main focus now we did not drop all of our troops at once because we have to think about getting the town hall and when it comes to valkyries they're going to continue to follow stuff like this right here where it's all grouped together and they're going to ignore the town hall entirely right it's just the way Valkyries works. So we got a wall breaker that was used down here. We opened up the wall, kind of preparing a little bit. And then we got that flame flinger working its way up towards the wizard tower. The target here is the single target again. On the opposite side, there was an archer tower down for upgrades. So we used some of our wizards to pick up some buildings and funnel. And then we're going to drop our barbarian king. He's only level 40. He's going to get wrecked really fast. So then we drop Pekka's golem wizards to start clearing these buildings out down here. And we're waiting just a little bit we're not going to drop our queen yet we're going to release the valkyries with the plan that they're going to go straight up through the center and go after all those buildings i pointed out a moment ago flame flinger locked onto the singles it's going to take it out and then we drop our archer queen now notice this check this out we got a town hall we got multiple hidden tesla's around there is a pekka there's also traps and we have a queen now most of our spells for this army are used for the Valkyries to try to keep them alive. It's the opposite of the Queen Charge Baby Dragon Army where all the spells are really dedicated to the Queen. So all we have here is a freeze spell and the Queen's ability. So we're going to freeze, try to get this Town Hall down. It's super powerful, very high level for Town Hall 10 troops. We're going to end up having to use the Queen's ability and she will pick off the Town Hall, but she will get roasted really, really fast. But thankfully, because we were patient with this attack, we were able to get to 53%. We're going to release the rocket balloons from our flame flinger. They take out a few additional defenses, and that is where the attack essentially stops. We use our minions up top, but because we took so long to drop them, the eagle artillery is going to lock on and finish off them really, really fast. And realistically, that's just the attack itself. So this is about realistic when it comes to using this army. You can three-star Town Hall 10s very easily with it but town hall 11s and town hall 12s might be more around two stars